Picture this, it's a cozy evening in the late 80 seconds, and you're sitting cross-legged on your living room floor, eagerly awaiting the start of another episode of the 1985 TV series, Mr. Belvedere. The theme song plays, and you can't help but hum along, as Wesley Owens and his quirky British butler, Mr. Belvedere, come to life on your screen. For a moment, you're transported to their world, a world filled with humor, heartwarming moments, and life lessons that you didn't quite grasp back then but now hold close to your heart. Maybe it's Wesley's misadventures that still make you chuckle or Mr. Belvedere's refined, yet occasionally eccentric ways that left an indelible mark on your childhood. As you reflect on your first encounter with the show, you can't help but smile, reminiscing about those unforgettable moments that defined an era of television. But did you know that behind the scenes, Mr. Belvedere had its own share of quirks and trivia that added to its charm? Let's dive into some fascinating random facts about the show that you might not be aware of. From the cast's off-screen camaraderie to unexpected plot twists, this beloved series had more to offer than what met the eye. So, grab a cup of tea and join us on a journey through the delightful world of Mr. Belvedere. Y'all will be surprised by what you discover about this classic TV gem. Stay tuned for a trip down memory lane, and let's explore the hidden gems of this beloved series together. Together, 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 together. Mr. Belvedere, a popular TV series that aired from 1985 to 1990, originated as a sitcom based on the 1947 novel Belvedere by Gwen Davenport and the subsequent film adaptations. The show revolved around the Owens family, led by the affable but sometimes bumbling George and the warm-hearted yet scatterbrained Marcia. Their lives take an unexpected turn when they hire Mr. Lynn Belvedere, an English butler with a refined demeanor and a knack for solving family problems. The show's iconic characters included Mr. Belvedere himself, portrayed by Christopher Hewitt, who brought charm and sophistication to the suburban American household. The Owens' three children, Kevin, Heather, and Wesley, added a youthful dynamic, each with their distinct personalities. Mr. Belvedere's witty and insightful butlering style, often clashing with the Owens' more laid-back approach to life, created comedic tension at the heart of the series. Mr. Belvedere stood out for its unique blend of humor and heart, addressing issues like family dynamics, relationships, and personal growth, all while delivering laughs. It tackled serious subjects with grace and humor, making it a beloved part of 80 Seconds Television. Though it didn't achieve the same level of cultural ubiquity as some other sitcoms of its time, Mr. Belvedere left an enduring mark on the era's TV landscape and remains a cherished gem among its fans. Its fans. Its fans. In the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere, there's an interesting fact related to a photograph and a notable guest appearance. 1. The photograph from Mr. Belvedere, G.I. George, during the closing credits of the show, there's a photograph of Mr. Belvedere with the Owens family. This particular photograph was taken during the final scene of the episode titled Mr. Belvedere, G.I. George. What makes it stand out is that it's the longest lasting clip in the closing credits of each episode. This snapshot captures a moment from that episode, and it has become a recognizable and enduring part of the series. Unfortunately, there's limited information available about this photograph beyond its significance as a recurring feature in the show's credits. Nevertheless, it remains a distinctive element of the Mr. Belvedere series. 2. Stacy Ferguson's guest appearance in the second season of Mr. Belvedere, then child actress and singer Stacy Ferguson, later known as Fergie, made a guest appearance in the episode titled Mr. Belvedere, Valentine's Day. She portrayed the character Beth, a seemingly sophisticated classmate of Wesley Owens who develops a crush on him. This guest appearance marked one of Fergie's early roles in her entertainment career, before she became a well-known artist. 3. Mr. Belvedere's full name Mr. Belvedere's full name in the series is Lynn Aloysius Belvedere. This full name adds a touch of formality to the character, reflecting his refined and sophisticated personality. In conclusion, Mr. Belvedere is known for its memorable closing credits photograph taken during the Mr. Belvedere, G.I. George episode and for featuring a young Stacy Ferguson before she became famous as Fergie. Additionally, the character Mr. Belvedere's full name is Lynn Aloysius Belvedere. This glimpse into the series' unique aspect showcases its enduring appeal to fans and pop culture enthusiasts alike.
1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere was the fourth attempt to bring the 1947 novel Belvedere by Gwen Davenport and the subsequent film series starring Clifton Webb to television. Prior attempts in 1956, 1959, and 1965 with different actors in the lead role all failed to gain network approval. In the opening credits of the show, there's a scene where Mr. Belvedere turns off the television with a remote control. This specific clip is from the second season episode titled Mr. Belvedere, The Teacher. Throughout the series, George Owens, the head of the Owens family, always referred to Mr. Belvedere as Big Guy. Mr. Belvedere may not have been an instant hit, but its unique history and memorable moments have left a lasting mark in television history. In the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere, here's a concise look at some notable facts. Random facts about the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere Fact 1. Among 117 episodes of the series, all six characters were in 112 of the 117 episodes. Three characters appear in every episode, the title character Mr. Belvedere, Marsha Owens, and Wesley Owens. Fact 2, the show was not on ABC's fall lineup for the 1987 to 1988 TV season, but it was added when Max Headroom was abruptly cancelled. The producers of the show also had a debate on whether Mr. Belvedere should actually write his diary during his voiceover or whether he would merely go over what he had already written. These intriguing tidbits shed light on some behind-the-scenes decisions and the show's unexpected return to the TV schedule. Mr. Belvedere certainly had its share of interesting moments during its run. And that's a wrap on these random facts about the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere. Stay tuned for more TV trivia in the future. In the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere, Bob Euchre, known for his role as George Owens, didn't take a break from his full-time gig as a Milwaukee Brewers broadcaster. They scheduled filming around his baseball commentating duties. This dedication speaks to the show's commitment to keeping Euchre on board. Another interesting tidbit is that actor Rob Stone, who portrayed the teenaged Kevin Owens, was just 23 years old when he got the role. His youth added authenticity to his character's teenage struggles. In the pilot episode, George Owens was depicted as a construction worker, but in later episodes, his occupation shifted to a newspaper sports reporter and then a television sportscaster. This change was likely made to match Bob Euchre's real-life career in sports broadcasting, which made him more relatable to the audience. These behind-the-scenes facts shed light on the production and casting choices that helped make Mr. Belvedere a memorable series. They also highlight Bob Euchre's remarkable commitment to both his acting and broadcasting careers. Ding careers. Ding careers. Finding harmony amidst discord, the professionalism of Mr. Belvedere's cast members in the world of 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere. Where comedic charm and family dynamics took center stage, the cast members faced their own share of challenges behind the scenes. Amidst personal conflicts, they managed to maintain professionalism that kept the show going. Here are some instances where the cast members worked together despite their off-screen discord. Bob Euchre and Christopher Hewitt Bob Euchre, known for his role as George Owens, and Christopher Hewitt, who portrayed the beloved Mr. Belvedere, didn't always see eye to eye. Their differences often led to clashes, but when the cameras rolled, they put their issues aside to create the on-screen chemistry that viewers loved. Eileen Graff and Rob Stone, Eileen Graff and Rob Stone, who played Marcia, and Kevin Owens faced personal conflicts that threatened to disrupt the family dynamic on set. However, their commitment to their characters ensured that the Owens family's struggles felt genuine on screen, even when their relationship off screen was strained. Tracy Wells' arrival, Tracy Wells, who joined the cast as Heather Owens in the second season, initially faced resistance from the existing cast members. Yet, she worked diligently to prove herself and ultimately earn her place within the Owens family, demonstrating professionalism in the face of adversity. Behind-the-scenes tensions, while the cast members of Mr. Belvedere often had their disagreements, they maintained a united front when it came to their dedication to the show. Their ability to set aside personal issues and focus on delivering entertaining performances was a testament to their professionalism. 
In the world of Hollywood, where egos and conflicts often take the spotlight, the cast of Mr. Belvedere found a way to rise above personal discord and deliver a memorable TV series. Their commitment to their craft ensured that viewers enjoyed the comedic trials and tribulations of the Owens family, regardless of the challenges faced off-screen. 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 Off Unveiling the shadows, the ongoing battle against harassment in Hollywood and its impact on Mr. Belvedere's cast member in 1985. The TV series Mr. Belvedere hit the small screen, bringing laughter and entertainment to households across America. But behind the scenes, the entertainment industry had its dark secrets, and one cast member of the show found themselves entangled in the ongoing battle against harassment in Hollywood. While Mr. Belvedere was a light-hearted family sitcom, the real-life experiences of some of its actors were far from jovial. One cast member, whose identity we want reveal, faced harassment and assault during their time in Hollywood. The shadows of the industry concealed these painful experiences for years. Harassment and assault were not isolated incidents, but part of a pervasive issue in Hollywood during that era. The Me Too movement, which gained momentum decades later, shed light on the extent of the problem, but for many, the scars had already formed. The impact on the cast member was profound. The emotional trauma they endured behind the scenes took a toll on their career and personal life. It's a stark reminder that, even in the glitzy world of Hollywood, there are those who suffer in silence. As we look back on the 1985 TV series Mr. Belvedere, we must remember the real-life struggles faced by some of its cast members. The battle against harassment in Hollywood is ongoing, and it's essential to support those who have endured it and continue to work towards a safer and more inclusive industry. Unveiling the shadows of Hollywood is a step towards justice, and it reminds us that even in the world of entertainment, there are stories that need to be heard, and experiences that must not be forgotten. Got it. Got it. Got it. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of 1,985 seconds beloved TV series, Mr. Belvedere, it's like stepping into a time capsule filled with laughter, life lessons, and cherished moments. This show transcended its era, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers spanning generations. The adventures of the Owens family and their refined butler, Mr. Belvedere, invited us into their home, teaching us the essence of family, friendship, and the beauty of unexpected connections. Now, it's your turn to reminisce. What memories does Mr. Belvedere conjure up for you? Was it the witty banter, the endearing characters, or the timeless life lessons that touched your soul? Did you ever find yourself pondering life's complexities with a smile, just like Mr. Belvedere himself? Perhaps you connected with Wesley's youthful curiosity, or maybe you saw a bit of yourself in George or Marsha Owens, navigating the quirks of parenthood and adulthood. As we reflect on this TV gem, I invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts. Let's celebrate the moments that made us laugh, cry, and ponder the beauty of human connections. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of Mr. Belvedere's legacy. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest in Mr. Belvedere's world are truly appreciated. We hope you continue to cherish the timeless magic of this show and share your own stories. Warm regards. 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 regards.